If you thought LinkedIn was hot, wait until you get a load of Yandex. The Russian search engine company raised $1.3 billion in an IPO yesterday here in the United States on NASDAQ. And at $25, the stock is valued twice as high on a price-to-earnings basis as Google. But Matthias Westman says this stock may have may still be worth your investment. Matthias, CEO of Prosperity Capital Management, which has $5 billion under management. His Russian Prosperity Fund was the second best performing hedge fund of 2010, according to Bloomberg Markets. He's with us live from Paris this morning. Matthias, 25 bucks. We have no idea whether Yandex is going to double on its first day of trading the way LinkedIn did, but at $25, you still think the valuation isn't out of control. How come? Well, I mean, it's a very attractive company, a very successful Russian technology company. Uh, you know, the, the Russian market is going, growing quickly. The ad market is growing faster than Russian GDP. Internet is growing faster than the ad market. And, and Yandex is taking market share in the internet market, and prices are rising. So we'll see very substantial uh, uh, revenue and profit growth in the next coming years. But what is substantial? Because I want to draw a comparison to Google. I went back and looked at Google when Google mm -hmm. IPO'd. Now, Google and Yan Google's revenue in 2002 was almost exactly what Yandex's was last year. So on that basis, they're at, mm -hmm. at the very least a little bit comparable. But at the time, Google mm -hmm. was growing 10 times as quickly and was four times as profitable. And by 2005, Google had net income of $1.5 billion. Do you think we're going to see Yandex turn into a company like that two years from now? No, I don't think uh, Yandex will be as big a, as, as Google, but they are taking market share and they are the dominant player in Russia and they're actually taking market share in other countries like uh, Ukraine, Kazakhstan, Belarus and so forth. And it's one of the very few com companies in the world who have been able to, to beat, Yandex, beat uh, sorry, Google at their own game. They have a 65% market share in Russia now and, and uh, I think they've actually been able to increase market share in the last few years further. So. Uh, only two other companies in the world have been able to beat Google. Uh, one company in China, which probably has had some advantages, and one in South Korea. So it just shows the, the technolo technological and mathematical uh, competence of this company. Well, there and are like clearly... Said, this, uh, Matthias, there are clearly many investors who agree with you. Otherwise, they wouldn't have been willing to pony up $25 for the stock yesterday, well above mm. uh, the, the top end of the target range, which was $22. Mm. But I guess I have to come back to the valuation question because it's being priced at 18 times revenue. On that basis, Google IPO'd mm. at 15 times revenue. Now, we know what's happened to Google since then. It grew like crazy. Mm. It's still growing at a very fast rate. But people have become a little bit jaded about Google's growth prospects. Surely. Well, I'm not going to say surely. I guess the question is to you. Does Yandex not face a similar future? Again, maybe expectations getting ahead of themselves. Well, I mean, Google's growth has, has slowed down very significantly in the last couple of years, whilst Yandex growth will continue uh, unabated for, for a good few years. But sure, this is not a very cheap company. Uh, I'm not trying to say that. Uh, it's a very good company. It's, a, it's an example of, of uh, how good engineers and good mathematicians you do have in Russia. And I think their market share in Russia is, is going to remain very strong. But uh, there are probably some companies in Russia which are cheaper. The average PE of the Russian market is uh, in the region of six. So that's quite a lot less than what Yandex is going to trade at. Well, one of the but reasons we've that seen the, the PE, PE for the Russian market is lower, and I don't need to tell you this because you're an expert in Russian investing, are the concerns that some Western investors have about things like the rule of law in Russia. You know, the running joke mm -hmm. about LinkedIn is that the risk factors in its registration statement ran to 19 pages. In the case of Yandex, it's 30 pages. Should, should investors, mm -hmm. should Western investors be comfortable investing in Russia the way you are? Well, I, I think they should. I mean, clearly, Russia is not a mature market. There are a lot of problems. But our experience over you know, investing in Russia for more than 15 years is that things are getting better all the time. There is improvements, both in terms of the economy, both in terms of minority share protections. And that's why we've seen this fantastic profit growth in a lot of Russian companies uh, and uh, had a good return on our funds. So, uh, you know, there's no doubt that there will be further scandals from time to time, but you're getting well paid for that compared to the uh, uh, you know, growth threats you see and the low valuations that we have so, now. So what is the overhang? I mean, how would you, can you quantify the risk overhang 
I guess another way to ask the question is how much higher might Yandex have priced that if it weren't a Russian company with 30 pages of risk factors? Well, it's, it's hard to quantify that. I mean, if you weren't a Russian company, you know, this market would be a lot more mature. And so the future growth would not be as great as it is now. So, uh, you know, it's part of the same parcel that you have a market that is developing quickly and, there, and has some problems. And people are making assumptions, and we agree with this, those assumptions, that these problems are being resolved. Russia is becoming a more and more normal economy, and therefore, you know, things like Internet ad spending is growing quickly. So you can't have one without the other. Matthias, thanks so much for joining us. As always, Matthias Westman of Prosperity Capital Management, the second best performing hedge fund according to Bloomberg Markets. Last year he was talking to us about Yandex. He doesn't think the valuation on that stock is out of control after yesterday's $1.3 billion IPO. Dear